Welcome to a brief collection of highlights at CSIS, the Center for Strategic and International Studies in Washington, D.C. CSIS hosts a variety of events, including major speeches and conferences. Mark Moyer and Tom Ricks discussed Moyer's new book, A Question of Command, Counterinsurgency from the Civil War to Iraq. I have seen charismatic leadership without strategy. It is disastrous. You do not want to go there. Charismatic leadership without a strategy is a Ferrari without a steering wheel. And that's what we had driving around a lot of places in Iraq for the first four years of the war. A Ferrari without a steering wheel winds up in one place, in the ditch. The Freeman Chair in China Studies hosted General Xu Thai Ho, whose position in China is equivalent to the U.S. Secretary of Defense. To deter and win wars remains the top priority of the armed forces, and the capability to win local wars in conditions of informatization is vital to the capabilities for multiple military tasks. In keeping with the new trend of world military development, and in line with the requirements of national security and development strategy, we have decided that our strategic goal is to build an informatized force that is capable of winning wars in the information era. David Bakradza, chairman of Georgia's parliament, presented an update on Georgia after the 2008 war and the global economic downturn. So what happened this year was another attempt, you know, to continue the story and uh, uh, to, to have second time elected third president, you know, resign again or step down again as a result of street rally. So in that sense, it was very important. It was a test for Georgian state, whether we remained, whether state remained as it was a few years ago, or state became stronger and more vibrant so that state and political system and bureaucracy could survive this kind of shock. This month's Schieffer series dialogue focused on Afghanistan. The discussion featured Bob Woodward from the Washington Post and CSIS Burke Chair in Strategy, Anthony Cordesman. Unless you change the strategy and unless you change the resources, are we losing? Yes. Will the president make a change in strategy that is functional? I think in some ways we already have. We have begun to shift to a population-oriented strategy. We are focusing more on shape, clear, hold, and build, not kinetics in the field. We are completing the build-up of troops to 68,000, which is a near doubling in the course of a year. So you're not talking about whether you stay, you're talking about how to stay. For more information on these and other endeavors at CSIS, please visit www.csis.org.